Ryan Smith here at the Philadelphia Flyers 2014 Development Camp as the prospects take the ice in Voorhees this week. Robert Hag is joining us, our second round pick from a year ago. Robert, uh, first of all, just tell us a little bit about this camp this year. How are things going for you in general? It's going pretty well. I think you can ask the coaches. I just go out and do what I'm good at to play hockey. I know you have a little bit of uh, a familiar face running in the camp this year in Shell Samuelson. Tell us about uh, you know his involvement in your career and how he's kind of uh, he's, he's obviously helped to ease the transition to North America a little bit. Yeah, it started uh, after the draft last year, and we have been in, in contact almost every week since then. And he asked me how I feel, how it's going, everything like that, it's on the ice, off the ice, how my family is, and everything. So he's helped me a lot. Even with small details in just like we have now on the ice to turn right from forward to backward is is can everything because he's been in the NHL for almost 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the end of last season. You came over and got to some time with the Phantoms, a little bit of a chance to get used to the North American game. How did that go for you? And what were some of the biggest differences you had to get used to? It was so fun to get over and play those last 10 games uh, the most I get used to was the smaller ice uh, it's happening more all the time and it's quicker game and it's more physical so you need to be prepared for every shift you're out there and I think I need that to improve it so getting over here was the right time for me last last year in the end of it this camp is, uh, has some unconventional drills in it. You guys are shooting some heavier pucks and doing some, uh, some skating things you don't normally do. Uh, what are some of the things that have kind of caught your eye at this camp as far as the, uh, the skills development is concerned? Well, I have never done it before, so I, my body is pretty sore after everything like that, but uh, it's fun. You try new stuff and you learn. That's why we're here on the development, to learn. So. That's it. <laughs> and, and what are you looking to take away from this camp? What are some of the things you'll, you'll look to, to use over the rest of the summer as you, you get ready for the fall? Well, you, you can see that you need to be better on something, and then you take it with you and practice on it until the training camp is coming now in the fall, September, I think it is. So, yeah, you, need, uh, you see what you need to improve and to take the next step. What does the rest of the summer look like for you? Are you going back home? You're going to be here for a while. Or what are your plans? Uh, my plans is going home for nine days, then fly back over to Philadelphia, leave all my stuff for the rest of the year here, and uh, then fly up to Montreal with a, and meet the national team. And be there for five days in Montreal for a camp, and then move down to Lake Placid, play a tournament there, move back up to Montreal, play a last game there, and then after that fly back to Philadelphia. Oh, you don't have to worry about getting in shape. That's a pretty busy yeah. summer then. <laughs> Robert Hag joining us here at the development camp. Thank you very much for your time, Robert. Best Thank of luck the, uh, the rest of the way. Thank you.